Hey, what's up guys? Andy here, Tri-Pillar Fitness. Got another good workout for you today. I'm going to take you through six movements. Six movements we're gonna be going all over. We're gonna be doing moving in a lot of different ways, okay? Kettlebells, what we're gonna to use today, you can use, if you have multiple kettlebells, you can switch out for some of the movements, make them a little heavier. If you only have one, all good. Use what you have, okay? The key is getting it done. 30 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest is what we're gonna follow. And I'm gonna jump right in I'm gonna do two, two rounds of this, two full rounds. So we're gonna run through all six movements twice. If you want a full workout, a longer session, you can go for it. You can repeat this a couple times, but I'm gonna coach the whole time, help you out, give you modifications when I can, and boom, enjoy, jump in. All right, we're gonna start. First thing is a kettlebell, plank, pull. Okay, so you're gonna come down in a tall plank position, put your kettlebell beside of you, 30 seconds, and begin. So, Hold that tall plank. You're going to reach underneath, pull that kettlebell. Reach underneath, pull that kettlebell. If you're doing these at home, do not pull it across hardwood floor. Do not pull it across vinyl flooring, any kind of flooring that can be damaged. Okay, make sure there's a carpet underneath or a mat. But you want to focus on pulling too. Drag it across the ground. You're not picking it up and sitting it. Drag it. You'll feel it across the middle of the stomach and the obliques, all right? Next movement, seated press. I'm gonna sit sideways so you can see how I do these. Okay, on your seated press, you wanna make sure that you're sitting long. Head up high, imagine pulling yourself up to the ceiling. Hold that kettlebell in front and press. You notice I'm staying long, tall. If you feel yourself going here, bend your knees a little bit, it's okay at first. But if you can straighten them and keep your back flat, go for it. Really focus on that full extension. <sighs> Breathing as you go. Focus on not dropping the kettlebell on your head. That's very important. Boom. Okay, seated press. Remember, your knees can bend. It's okay. Goblet march. So goblet march, all we're going to do is hold the kettlebell high. Pull the knees, okay? Here we go, five seconds. Now, here, knees up. So watch my back, we don't want that. So if you feel that happening, stop. Puff up your chest, keep tall. Pull those shoulder blades down. And keep that knee driving up. You're also not kicking forward. You're driving your knees straight up and down. Brace your abdominals. Focus on not rocking. You're gonna feel your low back a lot right here. A lot. That's good, it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Boom, wide stance row. So from the front here, you can see you're gonna step out, feet wide, toes slightly turned out. You're gonna hinge. You're gonna hinge down over this kettlebell. Torso is gonna to be flat. Push your hand or your forearm, and you're gonna row. You're gonna row. So if you can see me from the side here, as long as your elbow is to the side of your torso, you're in good shape. Touching the ground in between. So make sure your knees are bent enough to keep you low. Good hinge. Breathing. Nice. Easy, 30 seconds up. Next, we have a narrow stance goblet. So we're gonna go back to holding that bell up here again. Narrow stance, feet are gonna be close together, about hip width, and we're gonna squat as deep as we can go, pain-free. The goal is to get low, but do what your body allows. You build yourself up. So coming down low, back up. You can see me from the side here. Notice my back stays pretty flat. I'm not rounding. So if you feel yourself there, then stop. Do not go any lower. Do not go to where you round in your lower back. Keep your back nice and flat. Also, pain free, no pain. Boom, and last but not least, mountain climber stretch. So we're gonna go down a tall plank again, just like we did in the beginning. You're gonna bring one foot 
up the side of your hand or as far up as you can bring it. Here we go. So holding this position, bring your foot up. Then re other side. If this is all you can do, that's all you can do. You can also do this up on a bench as well. You don't have to be all the way on the ground, especially if this is too hard. Pulling that foot forward. You want to make sure you pull it and then sit into it just for a second. Sit into it. Boom. And short rest and we're going to repeat again. But it, remember, if any of these movements aren't feeling good, doesn't mean you can't do them ever. It means they may not be right right now. Okay, so don't push it. You have to ease your body into certain things. But all these are just basic movements, basic movement patterns. So if you can't do something right now, you don't have to mark it off forever. Earn it. Earn that movement. So start working on it. And we're going to go back to the kettlebell plank pull. Now on this plank pull, if just holding that position and pulling the kettlebell, pulling that kettlebell across is really hard for you. Hold the tall plank. Worry about nothing else. If holding the tall plank is hard, come down to your knees and hold it, okay? Here we go, 30 seconds. Begin. Back into position. So like I said, this is still working, okay? Reach under, pull that kettlebell. Reach under, boom. Good. There we go. There we go. Pull. Boom. Focus on that breathing. Don't let the hips rotate up. Don't let them twist. Boom. Good job. Seated press. Again, don't be surprised if you feel this one in the middle to your upper back. Because when most people are sitting here, they're going to want to hunch. Especially if you sit at a desk a lot. You're going to want to hunch. So bend your knees if you have to. It's okay. But the goal is to not. So yeah, like I said, if you need to, this will allow you to keep that back flat. If you notice for me, it's a lot easier. So I'm dialing it back just a little bit. Just feel a little bit of tightness in my hips today. Breathing as you go here. Nice. Goblet. March. So again, remember, this kettlebell up at your chest, bringing those knees, bringing those knees. We're just focused on movement. Movement is key. Good, solid movement. And begin. Remember, don't round. So if you're getting it this high, but you feel that happening, stop. You're going too high. Driving the knees straight up. Feel it pulling. Imagine pulling the lower abdominals. Feel them pulling your knee up. You feel it in the crease of the hip. Getting them up high. Final five seconds. Good. Wide stance. Rows. I'm going to go sideways so you guys can see me a little better this time. And we're going to the opposite arm. So make sure you drive the forearm into the knee, whichever side you're not rowing on, especially if you're feeling anything in your lower back. You also don't want to be here. Don't be rounded. Push your butt back. Boom. Good hinge. Breathing as you go. If this still does not feel good on your lower back, you can always put your hand against something sturdy to brace while you're rowing. So this will help brace you, keep you stabilized. You may not feel as much pain. But if you are feeling that, loosen up your hips, okay? Most of the time, tight hips, at least the tightness and pain in the lower back. Not always, but most of the time. Back to the narrow stance, goblet squats. Remember, keep the elbows down on your goblet, bell right out from your chest, squatting deep. Feet are about hip width, back is nice and flat. 
Big breath. We're not trying to do 20, 25 reps to make us tired. We're trying to do good, solid repetitions to improve the movement, to improve the way we move. So that as we get older, we're not limited in our movement and we're not weak and in pain. Bull reel. Four reel. Mountain climber. Stretch. Last one. Remember, it doesn't matter how far up you come. For some people, that may be that may be stretching. Do your best. Make sure your hands stay under your shoulder. Put that foot up and sit into it. Sit into it. Boom. It's nice. Good stuff. Feeling good. Brace. Keep your abdominals tight. Hold that stretch just for a few seconds. And remember, if that's still hard, it's also okay just to hold here. Or you can go up onto a bench or onto a couch and then start pulling your legs up, okay? Nice work. Two rounds. Two rounds, all you had to do. If you have any questions, feel free. Shoot me a message. I'd love to help you out. Give you some tips, some pointers. But just remember, don't push it. Don't push your body into pain. It's okay if you can't do some of the movements right now. You can build into them. Okay? Have a great day and hope you're feeling awesome.